Good Monday afternoon, everybody. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Tim Pandages. We're starting the week off. Christmas week on a soggy note. Also, a bit of a raw one. Temperature-wise, we're only in the low to mid-40s out there with rain coming on down thanks to a coastal low that's taking shape just off the coast of Corpus Christi. A larger, more influential upper level low is scooting on in from the west, and these two are combining forces, squeezing out moisture from the atmosphere, which is why we've seen the rain kind of... Uh, become a little more widespread in coverage over the last couple of hours. Really all the action is along into the west of I-45 currently. But as I put this on loop, you can see it's all moving off to the east-northeast at a rather good clip. We've got some pretty powerful thunderstorms here. No warnings at the moment. And the majority of the strongest part of this cell is offshore of Palacios, just to the south there. But building into Matagorda County, we've got lightning and thunder. Very, very heavy rainfall in the Palacios area right now. One, two inch an hour rainfall rates with these cells. We've got some more in northern uh, Matagorda and Brazoria and portions of uh, Fort Bend as well. Right along Texas 36 there up through Needville, Damon area, New Gulf, seeing some very heavy rain. Uh, not much of lightning in this particular cell. You can see some of the lightning off towards the uh, 288 corridor there. Off towards uh, Sugarland and Richmond, seeing some heavier rain moving along the 59 corridor there. Up through Booth, uh, some lightning and thunder with that as well. Let's see these red shadings there. That's some rainfall rates of an inch, inch and a half per hour. Now we've quieted down a bit along 290 here from Cypress down to Jersey Village up towards Waller. In fact, we've got some of these cells now. We'll scoot up here towards Hempstead. So it's not really working for me there. But Waller, Hempstead area seeing some heavier rain at the moment. And over towards Conroe, now just to the west of 45, we've got a heavier cell here uh, with lightning and thunder uh, just south of Montgomery building towards Conroe right now. So likely getting a little loud there. And uh, travel is going to be a little difficult along 45 within the next up. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes as that drifts into your general area. Overall, we're seeing widespread showers and thunderstorms. That'll be with us through the remainder of the day today. So I think it's also going to be a wet evening commute on your way home. Here's how Future Track sees things starting off now. A pretty good diagnosis of the atmosphere of what's going on currently. And as we go out in time through 4 o'clock, we're seeing the majority of the activity lifting to the east-northeast, so really impacting areas north of I-10. By the evening commute, some showers, downpours, thunder, and lightning thrown in the mix there as well. Notice air temperatures don't really do a whole lot over the next 12 hours or so, staying in the mid-40s. As our coastal low begins to pull away off to the east, it'll take the precipitation with it. But with a northerly wind here, that's usually a dry flow for us, it's not really going to thin out the cloud cover. In fact, I think some areas of drizzle and mist still will be with us by tomorrow morning. Widespread low cloud cover with us through late morning, early afternoon, maybe thinning out as we get towards sunset, but overall temperatures tomorrow should once again come in in the upper 40s in many spots, so chilly. We should be in the mid-60s this time of the year. We'll be nowhere near it, and that's only a tease of what's to come later this week with our Arctic outbreak. All right, rainfall totals, again, will be highly dependent on where the heaviest cells set up. Right now, we're seeing the heaviest rain to the south, so this is a pretty good depiction here out by Palacios and Angleton picking up an inch or two of rain. Everywhere else, up to a half inch, maybe an inch, maybe slightly higher totals with the heavier downpour, so keep that in mind. Temperatures outside now, we're in the 40s, 43 with a dew point at 42. Air is saturated. We've got the rain coming on down and the low cloud deck as well. 45 at Huntsville, 46 in Sugarland, 49 Nine out Campo 42 at College Station. Just not a nice day out there. We've got a large temperature spread though this afternoon because with that coastal lows influence pulling in a little bit of an onshore flow with our coastal cities and counties, temperatures will likely be a good 10 degrees or so milder than what you'll find off to the north when we're stuck in the 40s there. But as that pulls away, that cold air comes right back up to the coast. So our Arctic blast details. I'm going to end with this because we're going to do a separate recording on this coming up in just a little bit to give you more details about it. But here's the overall summary. Car cold front arrives, an Arctic cold front Thursday evening, late afternoon, early evening. As that happens, temperatures out ahead of it could get into the low 70s. We'll likely see a temperature drop within an hour or so of 20 degrees and will fall below freezing by the time the sun goes down Thursday. Stay below freezing for 24 to maybe as much as 40 to 48 hours. Temperatures by Friday morning, that's when it will be the coldest. Teens and 20s add in wind chills thanks to winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour. That'll be in the single digits. Now, the only good news about this Arctic outbreak is that there is no wintry precipitation with it. No snow, no sleet or ice, just very, very dry, cold air. 
and that wind making it feel like it's in the single digits. I'll have a much more in-depth video about that coming up in a little bit, but that's the latest on the rain coming through now with some thunderstorms. Again, no watches or warnings out there at the moment. We'll join you again if those do pop up. Until then, we'll see you next time.